Hello Aries, it is the Sun Sage. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am doing your August 2021 readings. So this will be for those of you who are Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, or those of you who are connecting to an Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising as a cross watcher. So we are going to see what is coming in for you guys, what energies are surrounding you in the month of August, okay? What can you look forward to, all right? So keep in mind, these are general messages. I am booking personal readings. If you need something more detailed and specific for your situation, check out the details in the description box, all right? Aries, you have abundance. Beautiful. What else does Aries have coming in in the month of August? Um, support. Very nice. What else does Aries have coming in in the month of August? You also have ask for help, all right? So I feel like this is a really great message for you guys that things are going to go well for you in August, but they could go so much better if you employ the help of people that love you and support you and that want to be on your side, right? You may have, um, you may not like to ask for help, Aries. You may like to do things on your own. You may not like people to know if you're in a situation where you're struggling or having issues that that's what's happening in your life. But I do feel like um, you do have some some great things coming in for you with abundance and some wonderful news. OK, some wonderful progress in your life. This can even be about finance. This doesn't have to be about finances, but it can be about some sort of growth you're experiencing. Right. That's that empress energy, some sort of growth and expansion you will see happen in your life in the month of August. So you got a support team here that wants to be there for you. Hangman, will of fortune. OK, coming out with abundance. All right, so I'm just going to focus on those two messages. I almost feel like you're doubting yourself. I feel like you're doubting that things are going to get better. Or things are going to start looking up. And I feel like this is a message of no, you're about to have some major um, abundance coming in and it's going to be very positive for your life. The hangman is telling me things may have been sort of going wrong for a minute, right? Um, or things may have not been the way that you have planned them to be. And you're just, you're still just sort of adjusting, right? Some of you have Pisces influence, your Aries Pisces cusp. You have the will of fortune again, showing up with the two of swords with this hangman. So yeah, you're having a hard time trusting any type of offers coming in, abundance coming in, because things have maybe not been great, right? So everything you're, you're sort of just making sure you check and, and making sure you don't get too excited. But I do feel like August is a month where you can really get excited about a lot of things that are going to be coming in for you. For some of you, this is about expanding in the workforce. This is about expanding your career, that opportunity coming in, just being careful of who you do business with or who you decide to partner with. This is good news. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck showing up, representing that there is going to be some sort of offer offer made to you. Hey, Aries, come work with us. Aries, we could use you at our company. Aries, I want another chance with you. You know, whatever that offer is coming in, I feel like you immediately don't trust it, but it does feel very good here. You have two will of fortune showing up with abundance. So some of you may see an uh, out of nowhere sort of increase in your finances just based off of somebody remembering you and remembering your talent and feeling like you're a good contribution to their company or to the partnership. Why is this two of swords here? Um, Queen of Pentacles, more wonderful energy of abundance. <clears throat> you are, you are a trustworthy, dependable practical person and people will see you as just that in the month of August. Some of you are making a business decision that you've been hanging on to not making for a long time. Some of you have have missed a, a deadline or have said, I'm going to make a decision about this, this, this career or this money opportunity in July. And you didn't. Right. And so now it's like it's time. It's go time. The Queen of Pentacles is like, feel confident in yourself that you have the abilities to make this happen. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? Capricorn energy. 
Um, some of you have blocked out a Capricorn and <laughs> the devil shows up. Some of you have blocked out a Capricorn. I do see that here. Some of you are not giving a Capricorn the time of day. So if there's abundance coming into your life, whatever they're offering, I feel like you don't want it. You feel like this person was um, unhealthy and toxic for you. Also, as people start to progress in their life and amazing things start to happen and they start looking beautiful and taking care, better care of themselves. Yeah, you're going to have people from the past or situations from the past show up and tempt you, show up and um, sort of <clears throat> question, do you want something new and fresh and abundant or do you want something familiar something from the past that may not be as good for you, but it feels temporarily good. It satisfies those temporary urges. So this is somebody from the past. They don't have to be Capricorn, but these are double Capricorn energies. But this is somebody from the past you may have had a really intense physical connection with. The passion and the attraction was out of this world. But this person took your loyalty for granted. Um a part of what you're experiencing in the month of August is a choice between that new beginning and should you bring this person into this new beginning with you? Will of fortune, right? Whatever decision you make could change your life for the better, for the better or for the worse. Nine of cups. Okay. I feel like a lot of you make the right decision. Um, knight of cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, I feel like the nine of cups is just more confirmation of you getting your way in August, you getting a lot of what you've been wanting and manifesting and working towards. A lot of you feel perfectly fine and comfortable being single. Okay. So you're not like desperate for a relationship. You're not really, you're like, whatever happens, happens, right? If there's somebody interested in me and they're cute and they're fun, I may give them a try. But at the same time, the nine of cups is showing that you're pretty self-sufficient and pretty good at handling whatever you want on your own. Um, even self-love, right? You had a, a relationship in the past that really did a number on you. So you're definitely not trying to go into any more codependent situations where you're having to rely on someone. You only want to rely on yourself as that queen of pentacles. What's this nine of cups energy? The six of pentacles. Somebody wants to add to your life. They're going to be saying something like, hey, I can, um, I see you doing fine for yourself. You know, this is a conversation. I see you doing well for yourself, Aries. But, um, you know, let me take you out. Let me try treat you. Let me do something nice for you. Don't be surprised if you get that type of conversation in the month of August. You are representing someone's wish fulfillment, nine of pentacles, because of your independence. You hate being codependent on anybody, relying on anybody for resources. So I feel like August, you're establishing your independence very clearly here. Queen of pentacles, nine of cups, nine of pentacles, anything you want, you want to make it happen for yourself. You this is why you're, I feel like you don't really like support your successes. You want them to be your own. And while you have friends and even lovers, people who want to help you and be a part of your, your, I feel like you want to pull yourself out of the trenches. You want to accomplish things on your own. You want to show that you did it on your own. So let's see. I want to see, let me, what's this devil energy? What's this devil energy here? Page of wands. It's like, this is definitely somebody who, it's like they don't have anything to offer, but their good lookingness and their physical intimacy. They're very exciting and they could be coming back. Pisces energy, Capricorn energy showing up. Um, somebody from the past who is going to play a role in August for sure. Um, like, hey girl. Or, hey, boy, what you doing? <laughs> you know, kind of like that energy. Like, they don't have anything to offer, but some real cute conversation, but they're showing up, right? But you guys feel pretty good on your own or pretty good in the situation that you're in. You don't want to switch things up in your life too much right now, especially with somebody who feels toxic. Support, all right? Let's see what's going on with this support here. You guys are also very supportive, Um of those you love. Why is the support here for Aries? Queen of Wands, there you are. There you are. Allow yourself to receive help. Allow yourself to receive compliments. Two of Wands, you are a queen. All right, that's showing up a lot in your energy. Um, you are stunning. Okay, Aries, 
um, some of you need support. Like if you are a public person or like if you're on social media, like you, um, somebody wants to do someone's makeup. Um, you like to do that on your own. <laughs> you like to do your own hair and somebody's saying, girl, let me take that pressure off of you. Let me help you. Um, so you guys are definitely all about manifesting whatever you want in your life and doing it for yourself. But I do feel like you have genuine people here. There could even be, um, another fire sign here. That's a really good friend of yours who's very supportive in some way. And in the month of August, I feel like, you know, their support is going to be really sort of, um, highlighted. Okay. The two of wands, that decision. Why is this queen of wands here? Let's see what's going on with this queen of wands with this support. This could even be a mother, a supportive mother, sister. Why is this queen of wands here? Queen of swords. Yeah, definitely getting mother vibes. Support from a mother. Um, yeah, this queen of wands with this queen of swords, it may feel like there's somebody in your life trying to help you and you guys are clashing because you don't want their help but this person does love you, you may not like their approach, okay? The queen of swords can be four of cups. You may not be rejecting the person, but their approach to helping you. King of swords at the bottom of the deck. There has been some bitterness in this connection. Aquarius energy, Libra energy showing up. So there has been some, um, I feel, some sort of words said that has caused you to sort of reject someone's help. Um, to reject someone's wanting to come in and offer you something. I do feel big rejection energy from somebody from the past that you have already cut off. I, I don't feel like that person has given up yet. What is this for? Cuts? You're not interested. It's the, the sun. You have a new life. You have a beautiful life. It's like, um, you don't want, you don't want this cup. I feel like this is you. You don't want this cup. A lot of you could be having someone, I do see um, relationships or a past, like an ex or something, somebody you could be divorced from um, saying, um, let me, you know, I want to support you. What you got going on in your life? And you're like, no, thanks. You know, um, thanks for thinking of me, but I'm good. Right. The sun having to stress the fact that you are perfectly fine in your new life. Um, in that you are choosing your new life. So somebody does get rejected for good um, by you, Aries. Let's see what this two of wands is. That's your energy with this support. Um, three of pentacles, support. Confirmed. Someone wants to support you. We have the hangman again. A Pisces could be wanting to help you financially or in some way. Um, six of wands. Um, strength, Leo. Okay, so you have two Leo energies here. Some of you are Leo rising, Leo Venus, Leo moon. Um, also, some of you are Aries connecting to Sag uh, sorry, Leos or Sagittarius, but some of you have a Leo, a prevalent Leo person here who feels very warm and supportive of you. Um, who likes to make you feel good about yourself, right? If you've been feeling down, if you had some a rough patch career relationships this person is there for you they feel sincere okay there is somebody here in your energy again possibly a mother a sister whose approach may not be the best but they also love you but i do feel like you are rejecting that sort of help and support and accepting the help and support from um possibly a fellow fire sign or um, somebody that has been with you through a lot and who has been a sense of strength and support for you with this strength message. And with the um, the six of wands, this person never forgets you. This is someone who calls and checks up on you. Someone who you have a pretty decent relationship with, right? Ask for help, okay? So we already see that you are not crazy about asking anyone for help. You let your very self-sufficient Aries, King of Wands, Leo energy, again okay so you guys could have a masculine energy here and some feminine energy surrounding you the chariot that um want to help you and you are let's see let's, what else is coming out with this ask for help it's like ask a leo ask a cancer who else do we need to ask aries i'm gonna do that again who else do we need to ask for help 
if you ask anyone at all. Um, two of cups. All right. So this is the, you know, the thing about you. A lot of you are connecting to somebody, but it's not like the major thing in your life, right? For some people, their relationship or their person or their connection is all like their everything, you know? And for you guys, it's just a part of you. I feel like you have a supportive, I, I feel like you have a team of people wanting to support you. Um, I'm not when we're talking about support, this could be like illness or something like that or needing financial help, but I'm not seeing where those things are coming up for you in particular areas. That doesn't mean it's not existing, but if there are people coming in wanting to support you while you go through a rough time physically or financially, I feel like these people for the most part are genuine. They're not going to turn around on you and be like, yeah, I helped you or I gave you money that time. I don't feel like you're dealing with those types of people. I feel like you have very genuine people in your life. This King of Wands is the Five of Wands. This is somebody who will fight for you. Okay. You have a lover here who wants to fight for you who will do anything for you. Five of wands, nine of swords. I feel like you give this, you make this person, um, you drive them nuts. <laughs> okay. You drive them crazy. High priestess, Pisces energy again. All right. There's somebody here that you drive crazy, 10 of cups, but they really are looking at the light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to you. Whenever you make them mad, whenever you piss them off, it's like, it doesn't matter. This person really is a real true partner they take the good they take the bad everything about you they love i feel like even when they um have worries or concerns about your connection where it's going you not communicating you not talking or vice versa this person is still wanting to have the happy ending with you all right there's nobody else this person would rather be with so i feel like you guys are dealing with a couple of things you are finding yourself getting back on your feet or finding yourself progress into a new level of, of, um, of success in your life. And a lot of it you've been dealing with on your own. I don't see here where you're exhausted. I don't see here where you're stressed out, where you're burdened. I feel like just for the most part, you have people around you who are just like, let me help Aries. You know, Aries may not need my help, but I want to let Aries know that I'm there for them. Of course, sometimes that'll come in the form of an ex or somebody like, hey, let me treat you out to dinner. And you're like, no, thanks. But there are lots of good, genuine people around you, the chariot and somebody who's going to fight for you. Um, the chariot. OK, we have a queen of cups and a seven of swords. OK, clarifying that chariot, cancer energy, um, Pisces energy again, showing up in these energies. So. Not being honest about feelings, all right? Not being honest about feelings. There's somebody here, Aries, that I'm almost getting the sense that you have two people. That's actually been showing up a lot for the collective, that there's more than one person interested in you. Um, possibly people broke up before the summertime. And so you still have that person, your main person, but you also wanted to sort of have fun this summer. Okay, so that's just some people's situation. But the chariot cancer energy in the month of July, you may have felt like your feelings for someone was starting to change. All right. During cancer season, you maybe felt like you needed something more exciting. You needed to have some more progress in a relationship or you were going to move on. So I feel like there's somebody whose feelings um, who you have feelings for, who you could be change, like changing your mind on. The intimacy is good. This could be this king of wands you're connecting to. Um, but I also feel like this person is somebody that brings a lot of, they inspire you. They bring a lot of stimulation into your life. They help you with your creative vibes. They could be somewhat of a muse, but some of you are going to need relationship counseling because like I said, you're driving this person crazy, but they still are happiest when they're with you. They want to be with you and you could be having a change of heart about this relationship. So a cups. All right. But I feel like you will decide to stay with this person in the month of August. The temperance confirms that whatever struggles or disagreements you may have with some people around you, not even just a romantic relationship, those issues will be resolved. Temperance is a good sign that everybody is checking their egos, toning things down, moderating their behavior and doing what's best for, you know, everybody. Two of Cups partnership coming back together with people that you love. Um, what's this two of cups? The nine of wands. 
I almost feel like you were not being honest about your feelings, Aries, how much you wanted to be with somebody. You didn't want to tell them yet or something, this person. And that's why you drive them crazy um, because... They may not have known how you felt. You may have been showing up as this high priestess, keeping your feelings to yourself, being very secretive and very mysterious and making them work for an answer for how you felt or if you wanted to be with them. A lot of you may like out of nowhere just tell them that you love them or something. And so that sort of changes things. This is a relationship worth fighting for. This shows up with the two of cups. All right. This is a relationship that is definitely worth fighting for. Um... You guys have been tested a lot. Death tested a lot. Okay. This sort of confirms that illness coming to an end or something that was bothering you ending a really overwhelming situation and a transformation of your situation to a wands, more excitement about the future here, planning a vacation, planning a trip, you know, with a person, a true partnership. All right. So I feel like you have a relationship worth fighting for. We have a knight of cups here. <laughs> Pisces energy. So some of you have a Pisces that is, is that you're with that is really, really, really in love with you. All right. Um, and for those of you who the person is not a Pisces, they are just very intensely passionate about you. And, um, I feel like they want to take a trip with you or go somewhere with you. Exciting. All right. So I'm going to get some messages to see what comes through for Aries in the month of August. It looks really good here. The sun is here. Ten of Cups is here. I'm seeing vacation. I'm seeing lots of time um, in the sun, beachside, poolside, damage control, whatever challenges were that you guys had is being worked out in the month of August. What else do we have for Aries? Tough love. Yes. I feel like you almost didn't tell someone how you felt about them, Aries, because you wanted to see how far they were willing to go for you first, right? You were not going to put yourself in a position to be vulnerable and tell someone you love them and then they switch up on you. So you were very careful about that. You showed that person tough love, the memories. Yeah, this is a relationship worth fighting for because you guys have a lot of good memories together. You guys have built a foundation together, it feels like. You have the two of cups twice in your energy. The only way to protect you is to stay away. So for those of you in a connection that's still going through your rough patch in the month of August, that temperance, that two of cups, that knight of cups, that soothing, whatever is ailing the relationship, that, that remedy to whatever is ailing your relationship is coming in. Right now, you guys still may not be talking. Right now, you guys still may not be ready to express yourself or they may not be ready to express themselves, but that is coming. Yep, I do it for us. I do it for us. Someone here loves you dearly and I can't let them go. All right. I'm going to get a clarifier on that to see why this is here. Why is this? I can't let them go here. This could even be about friends. Uh, Knight of Wands. Okay. So <laughs> let's just say there is, for those of you that were in a separation, for those of you that have been you know, iffy about a Pisces, that Pisces or that Sagittarius could still be up to something. Um, they still may not be being honest. King of Pentacles is a lot of people showing up. So yeah, I feel like there's a person in particular, Ten of Pentacles, that um, somebody you're connecting to could live with or could have some sort of um, finances tied to. They run back and in and out with this person. That's just showing up for those of you who possibly are in third parties. But I feel like for the most part, I can't let them go is somebody saying, I have a social life, I have a business life, and I am choosing all of that, right, in the month of August. So you could drive your person crazy because they never get to see you as much as they like, or you're busy, or, you know, you're about to start going back out. But you have a home with somebody, Ten of Pentacles. You got finances tied up with somebody, right? So they're hoping that's enough to, to keep this connection together because I do feel like you have something worth fighting for with the person that you're with or the main person that you're thinking of, all right? So that is what I have for you, Aries, for the month of August. Looks good for you guys. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will talk to you soon.